In today's video, we will be looking at the BR-6B Geiger counter. The BR-6B is one of the cheapest digital Geiger counters you can buy, and is one of the most popular for the counter's price range, $78. Let's open it up now. Opening up, you get an instruction pamphlet, The Geiger counter is in a plastic container with a protective plastic sleeve. Taking it out of the sleeve, we can take a look at the Geiger counter. The Geiger counter has a protective plastic on the LCD and five buttons on the front. This is a Geiger Muller counter, meaning it's a Geiger Muller tube that is in the back, inside an ABS plastic housing. The counter runs off of two AA batteries. Putting those in, you can choose to use rechargeable batteries. If you use rechargeable batteries, there's a micro USB charger on the side that you can use to charge them. Turning the Geiger counter on now, you can see a picture depicting Ernest Ruford. Lord Ruford was a New Zealand physicist who, named, who became the father of nuclear physicists. He discovered the concept of radioactive half-life and set in motion the building blocks of modern day physics. After the picture loads, a text box comes up saying, Welcome to the BR-6 radioactive detector. The first line in the screen is a real-time data. Second is an average value. Average value detection needs 8 minutes. The average value will be shown after the tendency chart ends. According to the Chinese GB18871-2002 standards, it is safe an average value lower than 0.52. Natural environment have background radiation. It's normal to have real-time data in varying range. Then it says press the little arrow key to begin testing. Pressing the arrow key will then load into the Geiger counter. First one being the real, then average, then trend. It is measured in servers. The 0 to 0.6 shows for the trend graph. Now, you can either have two modes. You can have it where you hear the particles, or you can change it to have an alarm go off once it reaches the threshold number. Once it reaches the threshold number, the alarm sounds. The threshold has multiple settings, 0.5, 1, 2, and 5. Pushing the arrow button again, it resets the trend graph and average. Test the Geiger counter on a thorium lantern mantle. Placing it on, the readings will start to show. Now that once 8 minutes has passed, it gives out the average, which is 0 0.51 off of the thorium lantern mantle. Now let's move on to a radium watch dial.
by far the radium watch is more radioactive than the thorium lantern mantle. Here I have a piece of octonite. Now the piece of octonite is more radioactive than the radium watch, and much more radioactive than the thorium lantern mantle. I would recommend buying the specific dosimeter gear counter, because it is relatively cheap for what it's given, and it's a digital meter, making it very versatile for measuring specific low amounts of radiation, and tell whether things are radioactive. A couple downfalls is that it's made out of plastic. This means that if you bring it out in the field and you drop it, it might destroy the unit, compared to the CDV700, which has a nice metal case, making it very waterproof and rugged. This, the circuit board is exposed, so if water gets in it, it's fried. Thanks for watching, see you next time. While you're waiting, check out a few other videos. One of the next videos will be about Octonite and Raven Watches.